Right, so let's see how well this LG vacuum cleaner can pick up everything that the Seawell picked up. Now the controls are on the handle on this one. If you can get to focus. You've got your floor, carpet, sofa. I don't focus enough, I think that's just curtain. Yeah. Um, so I'm probably on full power because there's a lot of mess to clean up. Uh, I might, this phone doesn't want to focus today, I might have to take the floor tool off and vacuum up the larger fluff first. Bear with me. There we are. Um, let's see how it goes. I'll put it on full power as I say. Now I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting it to clean all that up. I did think it would get clogged or the bin would fill before it picked everything up. But no, it did get it all up in one go. But as you can see, we have gone a little bit over the max line when filling the bin. Yeah, there's not a lot of uh, space left in that. Um, anyway, at least I can empty this straight outside now. I would have cleaned it back up with the SIBO, but I've only brought one bag with me, so I've had to use their vacuum. Um, I'll quickly show you this LG, I might as well whilst I've got it here. Uh, see floor tool, as I say, it's not awful, but it's not amazing either. Uh, small tools are under this little cover here. Crevice tool and brush tool, again that's pretty naff really. And pretty standard upholstery tool there. Uh, 600 watts and that's your filter indicator. I'm surprised it didn't come on actually with all the, the dirt that's in there. It is quite a heavy machine. Um, then again, it is quite, I say it's about 16 years old I think this. Um, so you can expect it to not be the best. And I say controls on the handles as you've seen. So overall it's not a bad vac, but as we've seen it does leave a lot behind in the carpet that the SIBO successfully picked up today. So yeah, thank you very much for watching.